Hello guys and welcome back to Be True with your host Mark Luther. In today's video we are doing another cryptocurrency mining video and today I will teach you three ways how to reduce losses in cryptocurrency mining. So it's about how to increase profits and reduce losses. So first to start with is focus on cutting costs. Now this will not be really you know in general because there are a few things I want to go in depth okay, with. For example you have the electricity costs, this is common decoration costs. Some people out there will buy RGB fans for their mining rig. Now I know it's sweet and all and it's really like amazing and colorful and all that stuff. But aesthetic does not come with, you know, with businesses. You know, you don't have a business wasting money on decoration costs before the ROI. Because the first mostly important thing is to ROI before adding any sugar cake on top of the cake. So that's another thing. Also, try to mine less energy consuming co coins like Zcash and Ravencoin. For example, Ravencoin, if you actually, you know, get the power limit to 70% and the core clock to 100 on your GTX 1080, GTX 1080 Ti is a bit higher, I think, okay, for some users on Reddit. If you mine Ravencoin, it's much more energy. Okay, saver other than Zcash. Zcash is a huge power consumer. Expect your card in not really good, you know, cooling conditions actually reaching to 80 degrees because Zcash is a really, really, really energy consuming, you know, algorithm or coin to be honest. So try to get to coins like Ravencoin. So after you apply, so I'm not a financial advisor or anything, we reduce the AC or the air conditioner. What will happen is, or just turn it off basically, because Ravencoin does not consume as much energy and does not heat up your cards, your GPUs. So don't expect hot environment around the rig because of Ravencoin. Now expect like, you know, under 70 degrees, but if you take care of the mining rig, don't expect any extra costs. So expect more of a profit. Also underclock your cards, try to master the ability to do that because a lot of people actually take more than, you know, 15 minutes testing out with underclocking their cards to get, you know, the best hash energy consumption. Just focus on fees. Now a lot of people mine on NiceHash and then from NiceHash goes to Coinbase because that is easier for them. If they are like you know the basic miner that just wants to get his you know his cryptocurrencies out of the space and going to pay electricity costs maybe buy him some coffee or something you know nice to coinbase is really cheeky because there's a lot of paywalls they don't tell you because they tell you there's a free withdrawal and everything but trust me it's not free another thing is that if you really want to profit in this space okay mine other coins that have less fees you know, if you mine on Ravenminer.com, you mine Ravencoin, you get 0.5% fees and that's nothing new. So here, you don't really lose a lot of money on fees, okay? And don't actually mine your cryptocurrencies, okay, to a wallet exchange. Not because of safety, I don't care about safety anymore to be honest, especially in this, you know, volatile space in mining. What I care about is actually the fees. The fees are the number one problem when it comes to profit because if you want to withdraw out of them, you won't be able to do so unless you pay a fee, especially when you're mining, for example, Ravencoin to Binance. Okay, they have this Ravencoin added new onto their exchange. If you're mining Ravencoin to Binance, don't expect to actually get it out for cheap. So in this space, you need to take care of every single cent. and. For example, if you mine to your UI wallet or GUI wallet, which is Ravencoin wallet, of course, this is not only about Ravencoin, this is just an example, okay, then you can actually get all the Ravencoins, maybe sell them, okay, for like fiat, maybe on localbitcoins.com if they accept Ravencoin, I'm not sure, okay, or exchange them on another exchange, I suggest a really like low exchange, like trade are gay or trade I don't know what it's called okay opposed to Binance Binance I feel it's really premium so don't expect any cheap prices and then send it to coinbase so you can maybe change it to fiat D depending on the way you deal with your cryptocurrencies now 
if you don't want to change to fiat this is the best tip I can give you okay is to keep them on the UI wallet of course this is common sense don't send them to coinbase or any such of that and expect a profit focus on learning now on overclocking underclocking undervolting you know all these things as a miner will cut you on costs now of course gladly a lot of people are doing it that's a really huge advantage but still there are other stuff okay that people are not learning about in cryptocurrencies like trading staking master nodes you know renting other mining rigs okay and i want to emphasize a lot on this now some miners okay they don't do anything they don't like to do anything they're just thinking that their mining rigs can just keep pumping them profits and just sitting around without doing nothing but you know with these market conditions i think people have to adapt with the new system with the new graphs with the new future that is shaping okay the cryptocurrency situation now if you don't have to actually read a lot of things and watch a lot of tutorials and you know go and take courses on trading but for example staking it's one of the easiest okay things to do in cryptocurrencies that is seriously overlooked like buying neo or these coins now i'm not you know buying only neo but also having you know a stake in it and actually making gas monthly and selling it is really profitable Okay, it's maybe not profitable as a coin because one guess is nearly, you know, under $10. But still, if you hodl it for the future, you can expect profits. You know, a lot of people are just not looking, you know, how to scale their, you know, their business up. You know, you don't have to trade. I know a miner, okay, and he has a YouTube channel. I suggest you go subscribe to him. Not your normal, normal miner. He got all his cryptocurrency profits, okay, from his mining. And invested it into an ether one master node for example okay he's trying to scale up his business he's not only holding his cryptocurrencies just praying Bitcoin go back to twenty thousand dollars that's not the way it goes and it's not how hard you work on your mining farm it's how smart you work on your mining farm yes you can overclock yes you can add the AC yes you can you know inspect it yes you can you know cut on costs cut on fees but still if you can't ROI, okay, if you can't really reach that point, then I don't think it's worth mining for you. For me, it's really worth to mine because I can do different things because I'm trying to educate myself. But if you don't have the time to educate you, yourself, then what I would suggest you do, of course, I'm not a financial advisor, but what I would say is that all you do is just, you know, put in, in staking or, you know, or keep it. Maybe you just you don't want to profit maybe you don't believe in all this stuff so just put it in your wallet maybe you don't want to ROI faster so in conclusion guys please take note about these three points maybe they're not really a huge half a point but I think at least one of them would have helped you at least in your cryptocurrency mining journey in GPU mining mining coins like ethereum and you know Zcash and Ravencoin. So thank you guys for watching this video from BitTruth with your host Mark Luther and hopefully you benefited a lot from this video. Thank you for reaching guys nearly 500 subscribers. Thanks for everyone and see you guys on the next video.